Pokemon Company decided to grace us this fine Monday with some new news about this new mystery Pokemon we have yet to get an official reveal for with details. However, we did get quite a lot of details for this new Pokemon. In the Pokemon anime, Pokemon Horizons, this Pokemon made a feature in that anime in the very first episode. And obviously, a lot of comparisons were made obvious. People started doing the comparisons themselves. And as did I, I did a side-by-side -side picture for this one because what else is it? You can see the side-by-side -side tweet I put up here. The new Pokemon anime leaked the unevolved version of the upcoming DLC Pokemon for Scarlet Violet. Yes, I think so. Yeah, I think my theory is that this Pokemon right here is the unevolved version of this one here. Now, a lot of people speculate all sorts of different things, like different form or whatever. Personally, I think it's an unevolved form because it looks so young. It looks so much younger, but it, there's no doubt it's the same line because we went into details about its eyes. I, I did a whole video on this thing. It's its eyes are the same, its crystal forms are the same, its color is the same, the animal's the same, it's got a crystal body and everything. There's like no d denying it. Well, the Pokemon Company official has just come out with a brand new release of information for this Pokemon along with official artwork, which can be seen here in all its glory. That is the Pokemon's official artwork. The colors are a lot different to the anime. It's a much darker blue, and that actually just conveniently coincides with the Pokemon that it I think, evolves into, okay? We also got a couple of links and information for this Pokemon, but this official English Pokemon account said, a newly discovered Pokemon appears in the hidden treasure of Area Zero for Pokemon Scarlet Violet. So they're finally straight up telling us this Pokemon will appear in the DLC that we're getting. Its splendid aura is reminiscent of legendary Pokemon Terrapagos, but the, this Pokemon's name and true nature are shrouded in mystery. So again, they just straight up tell us it's somewhat connected to Terrapagos by saying it just looks similar okay and obviously you know we're gonna we're gonna see soon enough how that ties in all the different pokemon accounts were doing this the japanese pokemon account and pokey times here also provided us a link with more information the link brought us to this website right here which is the dlc website with some information for some of the new pokemon that we can see here in japanese but let's go ahead and hit right click and do some magic and translate into english BAM! <laughs> so there again is Terrapagos, the connection being made now official by the official Pokemon company. The color scheme much more similar now than it was in the anime where it was much lighter blue because of just the coloring and the situation of it being in the water. So now we have both of them having the dark blue body and introducing the newly discovered mysterious Pokemon. A new Pokemon that appears in Pokemon Scarlet Violet's treasure, Zero's treasure, has been discovered. This Pokemon has a small body and is not strong, but it seems to have the ability to protect itself in an emergency with a shield made by crystallizing the energy inside its body. Also, when it senses life-threatening danger, it seems that its head, limbs, and tail will retract into its body, giving it a jewel-like appearance. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's finish reading here. And it will enter a dormant state. Its glittering aura is somewhat reminiscent of the legendary Pokemon Terrapagos, but its detailed ecology and name are shrouded in mystery. So we do not know its name. And that seems to be a part of the theme of mystery that they're going for surrounding this Pokemon, as well as ecology. However, it goes into a dormant state, interestingly enough, but more importantly, it caves in like a turtle doing protection for itself. And giving it the jewel-like appearance is vital because... This has a jewel thing up there on its back. That's that's a part of its official design. People were speculating that this part of the shell, the small part on the top of Terrapagos, is in fact this shell, the full body for this new little Pokemon. I, honestly, it, it couldn't look more like this one evolves into Terrapagos. It couldn't. But we'll see. Considering that it's suggested it goes into a dormant state here, that's a possible hint nod towards a different way of coming about from this form to this form. Possible. That's it for now. That's all the information we've got on this new Pokemon. We're going to end up getting its name in a full reveal soon. It looks like they're going to steamroll this out a little bit, like slowly, as they do sometimes with some of their new reveals. But it's cool. We're getting a reveal for a new Pokemon anyway for the DLC that's coming in a long time away. The DLC is months away. So I guess we can start looking forward to some drip feed of information for the DLCs. And we'll definitely keep on top of that. So drop the sub if you're new. If you're not new, thank you for watching all the way through. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, bye!